Leo Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press bringing you another indie connection. Today I'm going to be telling you about some indie books that you might enjoy if you're a fan of Susan Dennard's Truth Witch series. The first book I have for you is called Bisector by Stephanie Fazio. Hamira Harkabel has spent her life concealing abilities she doesn't fully understand. She is hated and feared because of her black eyes and inhuman strength. Mutation she bears from a near-death encounter with the grotesque creatures known as halves. When her people's underground cave system is attacked, Hamera is thrust above ground into a dangerous world where the sun's rays can kill in seconds and enemies are tracking her every move. The farther she travels, the more she discovers about her powers. Hamera comes to learn that her very existence is a threat in the war brewing between humans and halves. Should she disappear into the shadows to protect the people she cares about most, or embrace the strength she has spent a lifetime suppressing? Her choices will threaten the survival of the world as she knows it. The second book I have for you is called Facing the Sun by Carol Beth Anderson. Taffy Mellon is born facing the sun, filled with greater magic than any other sun-blessed child. When Taffy turns 14, her magic awakens. Her uncontrollable destructive power frightens those around her, almost as much as it terrifies Tavi herself. Tavi and her friends train to use their gifts, unaware of the threat developing in a distant city. Dissidents have banded together, and they're killing to attain gray magic, an ominous new force that breaks the rules of ordinary magic. But to seize true power, the greys must grow their ranks, and Tavi is a prize worth pursuing. In a fight where confidence is as crucial as strength, even extraordinary gifts aren't sufficient. If Tavi is to prevail against the Greys, she must find a courage that goes deeper than magic itself. The third book I have for you is called The Focus Stone by Matthew W. Harrell. People often told Zaya she was special, but she never knew why, suspecting only that the visions in her dreams would one day become clear. Her simple life changes when a series of events forces her to leave her family and face her destiny head on. Elsewhere, three guildsmen are dismissed from the coveted order of law, thrown out into the world with nothing but their wits and the guidance of an elderly benefactor. They decide to find out what was really behind the notorious Knight of Spears 20 years ago. As Zaya travels across the nine duches, new friends and old enemies all seek to tip the balance of power in their favor. What connects Zaya's destiny and the guildsmen, despite them being worlds apart? And why are they all on the sides of the maniacal Garius Gibden, the Witchfinder and his minions? And the last book I have for you is called Diviner's Prophecy by Nicolette Andrews. They took her memories. Now she's their pawn. To find out who stole her past, she must play their game. But if she fails, she won't make it out alive. The court is divided, and Maya is caught in the center. Although few know about her gifts, her power to see the future makes her a valuable asset. When her vision saves a foreign princess, it exposes her power to the court. Now everyone wants it for their own, and two men vie for her attention. Mysterious courtier Joe High might know about her missing memories and how she lost them, while charming Prince Adair is a notorious rogue who may have hidden motives of his own. They will both do anything to get her on their side. Drawn into a web of courtly intrigue, Maya discovers ties to her forgotten past and uncovers dangerous secrets that threaten the kingdom and her life. With no one to trust, she's caught in the game of head versus heart and must pick a side. But if she chooses the wrong one, she'll lose her head. Okay, that's all I have for you this week. I'll see you next week on the Indie Connection. Bye!